minute to pass. Uh, have to. Make sure it holds. I had a special upload planned for today that was supposed to be before this stream was made, but now it's going to be after. It's either YouTube or an iMovie problem. But in a few months, through slow, slow savings, I will buy Final Cut Studio. Uh, I'm waiting for the minute here to pass. And as I'm playing, I'll talk about a, a few other things, and while I play, one of the first things is, is fellow YouTuber of mine, a uh, friend, and uh, his good luck. So that's where I want to start. And, uh, well, okay. I made it past the first minute, and I hope I can be heard. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of play right down here. Pogo. There we go. I had a little trouble on the Retron 5 last time I played this a few weeks ago. So, um, fellow YouTuber and friend, uh, Phil Barnes, he, uh, he went to a thrift store yesterday and got a completely souped up, tricked out Mac Mini. Brand new. Uh, model. Well, they haven't up refreshed it. So everything's brand new in the last two, two to three years. Three years. Three, three and a half years. And it has a one terabyte hard drive, eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, this one. Remember now, patience. Patience to get that particular jewel. And, uh,. That's what this has all over the place, is there's these jewels that come out. Um, I have a photograph, points out. I have a photograph from, um, 91, uh, many, actually a series of photographs, uh, where Scrooge has a crown at the end of this game. Let's see, the question is, which way do I want to go? I think I'll go this way and take on the Paulas. Yeah, I call the spider Paulas. I don't know why. I always have. Uh, for those wondering if I still own the original cartridge or not, that's what I was playing on the Restaurant 5 with our guest star, Kitty. Or my guest star. I'm the only one who... I don't even watch my own videos. I'm not my biggest fan. The controls are slightly different. No, I don't mean I don't mean like drastically different. Right? No, that's, that's that's cuckoo talk. Um. Anyway, so about Disney afternoon in Las Vegas, we did not have the Disney afternoon. Um, I, I said this on a different podcast. Um, okay, so there's a different podcast, um, what was I, was it a blog entry? I don't know. There was something where I talked uh, about, or addressed, right, I don't know, indicate and as a child, uh, I went to, um, we bought most of our groceries at this really good grocery store called Lucky, and they had a huge comic selection in the store in our neighborhood, bigger than any other Lucky I've been in. That one's carried token comics. And yeah, Disney was among it, so. Sounds weird, but I kind of need an actual NES controller. In the restaurant, I was playing with a Super Fighter pad. Can you come back here and launch pad with like, a dork? Okay. Ah! <laughs> Excuse 
scared me. <laughs> That's the only way I can't get those jewels on the bridge that I know of. Although I do have a faint recollection, I may have at one time. So yeah, I see this ad for Disney Afternoon, and it's like... Oh, that's not nice. I want the Disney afternoon. Okay, um, it is possible to go this way and get the stuff, but let's see. So what's A? A is jump, so it's B. Okay. You want to back to Duckbird, Mr. McD? No, I don't. Okay, so... No Disney afternoon in Vegas for a few years. We finally got it, uh, Channel 21 picked it up. And what happened? And this I did not know. And now I'm going back to Duckburg. It's all about the money. Let's go back to Duckburg. In this game is possible to clear Transylvania three times. I, mean, I think I'm going back in the Amazon right now, but I'm not. I'm actually going down the African mines. And then I want... I want to go ahead and, um... I need to find the key for the mine. But what I want to do is I want to clear it out first. I don't want the key to the mine. And if a person doesn't get the key... to the mine... It is possible, I think, to loop this game into infinity. So he's going to send me to Transylvania. When I played this game the first time as a... <laughs> when I played this game the first time as a child... This was the first level. So to me, this has always been the first level, though I, I, mean, I do know that the Amazon is technically the first level. The first level is to be chosen. Man, I don't know. I don't know the problem I have with that is... But, uh, as I was saying, yeah, we, we didn't have Disney Afternoon until after Fox Kids Network lost the bid for it nationally. Uh, there was a... It was a, According to the book, Disney War. That was, uh... Michael Eisner was pissed about that. He was looking forward to having a good working relationship with 20th Century Fox. And they would. They would. They would produce many shows for ABC. And for whatever reason, Eisner thought he could recoup, recoup, recoup billions of losses. That's billions of dollars. In losses from ABC... By buying Fox Kids and Savon, you know, the Power Rangers people, from 20th Century Fox. That didn't work out. go back to the African line. That's the infinite loop I was talking about. If a person does that, they can get money, but... It's, it's not worth it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the level this time, so... Don't get the key. Talk to Webdale. So, I say so a lot. 
But yeah, that, that's that's how Disney Afternoon in Las Vegas came about. Was they went they syndicated it and competing channels to a Fox Kids network would get it. And um, it was weird because I would watch. I would watch the Disney Afternoon on Channel 21 right after school, but school meant high school, so I only recall watching the 4.30 cartoon, which it was at that time Aladdin, and then it became Simone and Zumba. Or was it Aladdin on Fridays? Yeah, okay, so it was like Aladdin on Fridays, and then I'd watch... And then eventually that got replaced with Timon and Pumbaa. I showed you the time frame. Uh, and then the rest of the week, I think it was Goof Troop. But then I do have some memories of watching Goof Troop. Well, whatever's on 4.30 is what I watch. I really didn't watch the rest of the cartoons. Because I guess I would get home from whatever the smack I was doing. At... At... I don't know, around 4.30, I guess. And that would be that. Well, what's weird is I can get an invincibility thing. I'll show you. Yep. Right there. Maybe. I just want to do that. Okay. Well, now you know about... Las Vegas and the Disney Afternoon. Um, I don't know what why this town this town's unique. We just never got the things that other towns got. I mean, there were towns smaller than Las Vegas, and they would get better things. There's towns uh, that are smaller than Las Vegas that think they're bigger than us. I'm not, I'm not gonna name names. It just pisses people off. Alright. No. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Left or right? Let's go right. Oh, I was supposed to go left. Magica Dispel's voice actress was the same actress who played Rocky the Squirrel in um, Bullwinkle and Rocky, including the Bullwinkle and Rocky movie, which is a good movie. I don't know why people say it's a bad movie. I'm not doing too well here with Magica. My timing is off. That, well, that's what happens with emulation. Seconds is a ridiculously long amount of time. I think later in the game there's a minecart with the three stooges. Uh, Louie, Dewey, and Huey. Three nephews. That's what I meant to say. Three nephews. Three nephews. by bothering them in their natural habitat.
Okay, so I needed to go the other way. Alright, all this is gonna do is give me cake. There's like no jewels here that I'm aware of. Yeah, that's just the room right there I was trying to get to. Um, no, I don't think that's possible. It comes out right... Oh, it is possible. He doesn't pogo high enough. Yeah, he doesn't pogo high enough. Anyway, these mummies are supposed to be the Beagle Boys or, or something. I, I forgot the explanation given. Okay, where did I go? Did I go in here? Yeah, okay, so back to the mine parts. I mean, plot-wise, these level designs have no rationale, but the game's fun. And that's what, all that matters in gaming. Is the game fun? Too much. It's not. Um, the remastered is a good game, but it's not... It's not my cup of tea. Okay, so I know that's where the skeleton key is. I'm gonna go back to Magic Hood Spell. So if I took the other mirror, and it's gonna take me to the knight and the cake. Oops. Well, I might as well get it now. No, no, I don't need it, I just got ice cream. Okay. Ice cream again. Well, then the left mirror goes to the knife and the cake. And this one goes here to magic of the spell. Alright. I should have hit Magicka right there. Try to stay near her. And try to pogo. I mean, shoot. That's the way to do it. I think later, um... The main villain... Like Count Chocula or something. Okay, so, I wasn't supposed to do this, but I did it anyways, so, um, I mean, the game can be played anyway. And it counts that, but, but, I can get back in. Pennsylvania. I'm not really remembering. I, I know the Amazon level, okay, but Pennsylvania. Uh, back in Transylvania. Okay, the key's right in there, and nothing else is going to form. I'll show you. There's not going to be any jewels or anything. So at this point, why waste time, right? Excuse me. Why waste any time? Eureka, it's a skeleton key. To the mine. To the mine, Robin. And now I'm going back to the Amazon. There's, um... What's it called? Re Return of Batman or something? Yeah, there's just like this weird movie where Burt Ward, Julie Newmar, Adam West, and they're... They all, it's a sequel to the 1966 uh, classic Batman TV series. All that wham, bam, pow, zoom to the moon, Alice. Oh, wait, that's kind of good. Yeah. It shows him flipping out because a Catwoman 
just gave him some toxic thing, and they even have like the same silly plot twist that would only be found in an Adam West Batman episode. They even rag on the ending to the, uh, Kill Paula. What is it? Um, uh, Bale and Hathaway. Oh, Dark Knight Rises. So. Pretty funny stuff. Kill Ka from Jungle Book. I yeah, have Jungle Book. They did a Grumpy Bear Plays episode. No, uh, I don't narrate it, I think. I think I don't narrate it. Yeah, when Jurassic World came out, I lazily... Because I was getting... I was getting hit up with copyright uh, strikes at the time. Um, and what's weird is I didn't even violate copyright law. That's what that's that's what happens on YouTube. You get some dough weed claiming copyright or something. And it's, you know, it has to pass the smell test. That's what fair use is. Like, okay, so for instance. For instance, say I put a movie, a forgotten public domain movie up on YouTube, okay, and, oh, oh, by the way, that YouTube TV thing is going to fail just like YouTube Red has. Um, no offense to any subscribers who might listen to this in the future, but it is a failure. Um, most people I know who sign up for YouTube Red, they sign up for the free trial. And, um, after the free trial is done, after the free trial, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to keep pace with that B. Yeah, it, you know, after the free trial is over, I don't know anyone who... Oh, wow, that's weird. Well, you saw it glitch here, folks. Um, I'm not gonna pay for TV. I don't care who's the, I don't care who's the service provider. You know, I'm never ever going to pay for broadcast television ever again. Though I do have some good memories: Cartoon Network, USA Network, Cartoon Express, Disney Channel, and they used to air Disney before they became the the. Gussy It Up Girls Network. Or is that Nickelodeon? <laughs> Can't really tell these days. I mean, this is Disney to me. Whoops. Okay, I guess I'm going up. I wanted that diamond, but... Nope. Oh, I have DuckTales Remastered on Wii U, but... Uh, no! Why did it duck? Another glitch. That's, that's, that's the problem with emulation, in my opinion. It doesn't... It doesn't do... I mean, this one-third of the level. Um... In my opinion, it doesn't it doesn't do certain things correctly. That that goes it, it, it has nothing to do with digital eclipse or anything like that. It's emulation in general, overall, that things go awry. In my opinion, I mean it it can be good, but it can only do so much. I mean. For instance, um, ugh. no, oh man, I guess I'm not getting that treasure chest today. Um, 
so I've seen emulation that's really good, but to me, it still has slight like, timing mistakes, stuff like that. Um, like, or or uh, game systems on a chip. No X and Go X, stuff like that. To get the hidden treasure or get the diamonds. Wait, where's the hidden treasure? Thought there was a hidden treasure. That's in another thing. Find hidden treasures in this game. Or it gives my ducks from out. I guess you don't jump that high. Yeah, I I these these systems on a chips. Oh, don't tell me, I just came full circle. Yes, I did. Oh, man, that, that, that's the problem with the system on a chips. Okay, now I remember what I'm supposed to do. Yes. So when... Darkwing Duck... What in the world? I've never done this before. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go back to Duckburg. No? Let me see if this resets him. How did he get here? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Duckburg. Gear loose bonus level. Okay. Well, I didn't get every jewel, but that's okay. All right. Uh, get the Himalayas. I didn't know these were bunnies for like the longest time. They were, I don't, I don't know. They're certainly not flurries. Yeah, there's, there's people. I had a troll yesterday on my Twitter account. I know. There was other people taking it. I, I just wanted to know where the fellow was getting his information. The information seemed, in particular, very, very poorly informed. I've seen it all too often in video games, especially video games. So, um, I'm going to address this as I play. For people who draw up a dividing line in video games. Look, I, I understand we're not all made out of money. I do understand that. And... So I know we're not made out of money, but save up and just buy all the game systems. You know, for you know, for what it's worth. Why why not have it? Um, Alpha Omega Sin point of that. Just buy the game system. Geez. What what freaking difference does it make? Seriously, 
saying that because uh, I'd rather use a more stronger word, but yeah. Seriously, what, what difference does it make? Whether or not I buy this system or that system. You know, just, just buy it all. I don't, I don't understand what, what the divide is. Um, I, you know, and I do see it. I, I, I have to say, PlayStation owners are extremely mean. Uh, not all of them. Not all. Of them. You know, you might be a PlayStation owner, but I'm, I'm only going on what I see. That's, that's what I've seen, is people who have a PS3 or a PS4, they, they just seem ridiculously mean. Or people who play mostly computer games. Not all. Remember, not all. This is generalization. I have specific examples of opposite, but I have seen more of the other... Um, and it's just like, why? Why be mean? I, I don't understand it. Did something happen to them as a child? I don't know. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> um, but they've been like that as long as I can remember. Just... This kind of weird meanness. Mrs. Beakley's gonna give me any more ice cream. Nice. Okay. my hits, but I'm not, I'm not suffering. What? Oh man. steamrolling through these levels or anything like that. I mean, I guess I played this game uh, with Mario 3 that particular time in my life, which would be the 10th to 11th year of my life. But yeah, I still have the original cartridge. If
because the uh, rest of the Disney afternoon games I can't play were the damn. All right, and and then there's a race with Glomgold, and even a Scottish name, Glomgold. I don't know if the jewels. No, it's still defeated. Yeah, I know right where to go. But Exploring the place. But yeah, there's a race with Guam Gold at the end of this game. I was not... I'm not expecting to get to where I am right now in the game. It's weird. Very weird. Um... Here's the second to last guy. Count Ducula or whatever. Uh, he's gonna appear. And that's too high to jump. Um That's still too high to jump. Okay, that's that's the right height. Or there I go. He's not hard, he's just... It just takes a... The reason for that is to punish the people who pogo through the whole game. Alright, I want to be right here for Glom Gold. Dracula Duck, but not me. Treasure. Back, you have to catch me. That's that. I didn't mean to beat the game, but I did, so. Um, didn't get the crown. This is not completely the way I would like to play it, but it is what I did. That is, like, the worst ending, in my opinion. Um, just, just is. Just is. I... There should have been a better ending than that. <laughs> Hooray, Uncle Scrooge. We're glad you found the treasures, but don't forget, we helped too. What? When? I didn't go to the minecart in the African stage. And, um... Ooh, do I press something here? No, I don't. Right, lads. I couldn't have done it without ya. I really am the richest dog in the world. I guess, and then uh, it's gonna go into the theme song here, right? Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Um. What do I do? Do I press this? This? I press this button. What? There we go. Um. Load game? Ah. Uh, well, I don't know, I'm just going to hit quit here. And, uh, you know, give you um, a few minutes here. Uh, I don't know, I don't really know. So I'm going to go back to what I was saying. You know, own multiple game systems, folks. You know, save up, buy the proper equipment, buy, buy an 8-port HDMI um, switcher, buy whatever you need. And it's okay to have all this this stuff. It is material stuff. It is meaningless in the end, but it's okay to have it. Enjoy your life. Don't divvy up lines in the sand over video gaming. Look, I won't buy an Xbox One because there's nothing on there I want to play. It hasn't reached its 15 game threshold. And a lot of the games I'm buying on PS3, I can easily buy on Xbox 360, which I already own. But that doesn't mean that the game is any different. I don't get a different experience or anything like that. So it's perfectly A-OK -okay in my opinion. At least the way I'm going to do things, I'm going to have multiple systems. Look, I couldn't get my hands on an NES Classic. I don't think I will be. I do have a Famicom Classic. Okay, it doesn't have Punch-Out, but then I already own Punch-Out. 
I mean, I have an original Punch-Out cartridge. It's a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So, um, save up for things. And if I want to play Punch-Out on my HDMI TV, I can use a Retron 5. I can use a Game Freak. I can use an AVS. Um, if it's on an older TV, I, I have options to do that as well. There's no, there's no reason that there's this line that people have in the sand. What? So, so what if the game doesn't come to the system you want? Is that the game you want to play or not? If it is, go out and buy the system. It's like Vampire Mike at Sega CD Universe buying a... Uh, recently buying a, a Wii U, even though know, he knows the system is on the outs. He's enjoying the clearance sales and stuff like that, so there's nothing wrong. Uh, Forever's tuned in. I just beat the game, so you'll you have to re-watch this after, uh, after the live stream is over. It's just, I do an hour a day, and I have a few minutes to pad out here. So, uh, I do apologize for that, because in broadcasting, that's, I don't know, that's just the way it goes, either you got the show when it was on or not. Um, I have that happen to me all the time when I'm watching TV and tune in catch the last five minutes or something, um, or in Seinfeld's case, because of the bad weather yesterday in Las Vegas, and we caught uh, five minutes of the show, the episode I was watching. I've seen the episode before. The one where this guy is following Elaine around and she gives him some Tic Tacs. So. But, uh, I think I'll wrap this up, but uh, I want to wrap up the topic and then get information here. But yeah, definitely go and buy multiple game systems. Just, just save up and do it if you have to. Anyways, that's the end of this. The game was beaten about five minutes ago, so uh, anyone who wants to see me play this game through just uh, after the live stream is over, um, you can go ahead and watch the unlive version as a regular YouTube video. My comments about Disney Afternoon and multiple game systems and Phil Barnes, a fellow YouTuber, finding a Mac Mini with... 8 gigs of RAM and uh, a 1 terabyte hard drive for $5. Uh, I've never found a computer like that. He can flash it to Windows and use it as a pretty decent game system, actually, uh, using Boot Camp. So uh, to contact me, that's uh, coffeeforbinky at gmail.com. That's C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, the number 4, B-I-N-K-Y at gmail.com. Or can go to the Patreon which is uh, patreon.com slash... Well, it's down there at the bottom. Patreon.com slash coffee for binky. And, um, and uh, as little as a dollar helps, helps me get more games to do more stuff, so forth and so on. And uh, any questions or comments or anything like that, I mean, this, this, is, uh, this is the place to do it. And uh, give me a follow down there. Um, I I do want to disclose real quick in the last uh, minute or two here. I am not affected by the advertiser boycott, with the exception of three videos. And um, well, one of those videos does get views. Um, I've also seen that YouTube Red and uh, YouTube TV accounts do let me still get paid on the video. And I, I would love it if each and every one of my videos had a thousand people watching them a night. Or, well, I say a night because I check them on the next morning. A day. It'd be nice. It would It would really be nice. But uh, I guess I just don't, don't have that kind of content. But DuckTales is here. And um, next Sunday, I don't know what I'll be playing. I mean, I play Pure Pool just for the visual aesthetic. So that way you're not looking at nothing. Talk. English is deplorable today. No pun intended. But um, yeah, I um, 
I don't know. Um, next week could be Dead or Alive 5. Next week could be... Um, what's today's day? I want to do this. we got 30 seconds left. And I went into the calculator to check the calendar. 18, huh? So at some point soon in the next uh, six weeks, I'll have Dark Gage over and taking over the channel for me for a little bit. If you can, if you give him a follow, you can view, view his gaming videos at Dark Gage. If you're interested in Kitty Fazbear, just type in Kitty Fazbear. Um, and that's it. Okay, you have an excellent week. Bye-bye.